want to do is determine how heavy of a dumbbell we actually want. So concrete has a weight of about 0 0.087 pounds per a cubic inch. So I'm going to try to make a 90 pound dumbbell and that would turn out to be about an 8 by 8 by 8 cube. And that equals 5 12. And then we're going to multiply that by 0 0.087 and that's going to give us roughly 44.5. Now this is how much one square of the dumbbell should weigh. And we're going to have two of them. There's going to be one on either side. So that will equal roughly uh, 89. And then plus the dowel it will equal about 90 pounds. So that is what it should weigh theoretically, but we're going to find out. Now we have our six uh, nine by nine inch blocks, and we're going to use this to basically construct a cube like so. And then we're going to have it closed on each side, drill a hole in it, fill it with concrete, and then we're going to put our wooden dowel in. Okay, so now we're going to drill our hole for the dowel, and you want to make sure this is centered. So this is about 9 by 9, so let's go 4.5 inches in, mark it, 4.5 inches the other way, looks like that is actually right in the center, and now we know where the center of this piece is. Now I'm using an inch and three eighths drill bit. That, that's because this is the diameter of the dowel. You want to make sure this drill is straight down because if it's at an angle, your dowel is going to be coming out like that. This is why you always need to charge your batteries. Okay, we got the hole drilled now. Now we're gonna uh, fill up these cracks with some hot glue so that concrete doesn't slip through. Alright, so we're gonna fill these cracks now with this hot glue. we're waiting for the hot glue gun to heat up, we're going to put our anchor for the dowel and we're just going to use a five and a quarter uh, T30 screw and a couple, couple smaller screws along it to actually fasten this into the concrete. If you decide this dumbbell process is too hard and if you get all the way to here, at least you have a nice weapon. So we can actually cut this dowel to the right length. We can assume that we're going to lose about 10 inches on this side, on either side. So that's 10 plus 10, 20 inches. Then we need to have the size for our hand. So let's see. I think a good 6 inches, 6 and a half inches would be a good handle with. So we'll cut that. Now. So that'd be 26 and a half inches. We have our concrete now and we're gonna fill it about two parts 
this little plastic shovel and then put some water in it. So this is about a half gallon of water. Spilt it all over me bringing it out, but that's not the point. We're gonna see how this, how much more water we need after this. Okay, it's, it's leaking out a little bit. Oh, there goes it out the hole. We'll just try this. Neighbors probably think I'm crazy out here mixing concrete and it's like 10 degrees. Alright guys, there you have it. Homemade dumbbell. Can't wait to try this puppy out. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! Consistency is almost done. You want it to be like your homemade oatmeal do-it-yourself protein shake. Once the consistency is like that, you have some good concrete. Just don't eat it. Now we just want to hit this one dowel down. This is a, a do-it-yourself hammer. It's pretty easy to make. If you want to see that, you can uh, click the link in the description. Put the top on to make sure this thing is nice and plumb. Sealed off. That dowel's nice and plumb. Now we're just going to put it inside, let it dry for a day or so. I had to break this off because it was stuck for some reason, but... Concrete's still a little soft. It looks pretty good, only it's a little chunky at the bottom. That's because I put too much mix in to begin with. And I, it was hard to get that stuff at the bottom. But I'm going to take all sides off, let it dry, and then make another one. And it's just uh, a little wet at the bottom. A little bit broke off. But other than that, she's pretty good. The next block. This time I'm going to mix the concrete, uh, oh yeah. I'm going to put half of this on like that and then put the next piece in. The, uh, the partially dried piece, then put the other block here, and that's going to make it nice and plumb. Yeah. Basically, all done drying now. I just set it in front of this heater to kind of speed up the process. This one's still a little darker. That one's completely dried, but it cracked a little bit, and that's because the concrete wasn't mixed all the way at the bottom. So what I did is just put some hot glue in there to kind of secure and reinforce those porous areas. Dumbbell is all done drying, and now I'm gonna put this tool coating stuff on it. This is meant to like coat and insulate the handles of tools, but I'm gonna put it on this dumbbell in hopes that it won't it'll prevent the dumbbell from cracking and falling apart when I actually use it. So it's mostly coated up. I just need to get this side here and the bottom face, and then it'll be fully coated up. I might give the corners an extra coat just because those are would be the most likely to crack. It says it's about four hours to dry, so I'm going to let it dry, come back, coat it up, then I'm going to weigh it, and it'll all be done. The rubber coating's all dry. There's just some spots where it didn't really get put on evenly, so I'm just going to hit it with uh, some black spray paint to get that color nice and consistent.
the dumbbell here is done. I am actually have to say, I'm pretty damn impressed with the outcome. Like, with that rubberized coating, it has a pretty nice feel to it. And it doesn't crack or chip is the best thing. Like, I put extra on the corners because those would be the most likely thing to crack. And it's good. Like, I can take like this metal, throw it. You know, it doesn't really put a little scuff in there, but you're not getting those little pieces of concrete that's cracking off. Also put the rubberized coating on the handle too, so it's got a really nice grip. A lot better than just that plain wooden dowel. And the whole thing clocked out at about 95 pounds, which was 5 off from the estimated weight, which is, you know, I'll take that. that that's not bad. But overall, yeah, this thing is really good. For a size comparison, this dumbbell right here is 100 pounds. So one concrete block is a little bigger than that entire dumbbell. Kettlebell. So yeah, it's, it's pretty big, but it's good for doing rows. I could probably do some flat presses with them. Maybe even an overhead shoulder press. Haven't tried it yet because I can't press that much. But when I get there, I'll show you guys.